time, but make sure. Welcome back to Harbaugh. President Trump painted a rosy picture of the economy last night in this State of the Union. Let's watch. Since the election, we have created 2.4 million new jobs, including 200,000 new jobs in manufacturing alone. After years and years of wage stagnation, we are finally seeing rising wages. Unemployment claims have hit a 45-year low. Our massive tax cuts provide tremendous relief for the middle class and small business. These changes alone are estimated to increase average family income by more than $4,000. This, in fact, is our new American moment. There has never been a better time to start living the American dream. Well, as NBC's fact-checking team points out, his job numbers are technically correct, but Trump is overstating wage growth and taking credit for jobs added under his predecessor, President Obama. AFL-CIO President Richard Trumka, who attended the State of the Union, said in this statement that President Trump painted an everything-being-great picture of America that, while optimistic, is not the reality for most working families. That may be how his friends are living, but the working men and women we represent aren't seeing the same America, and his policies are making it worse. The truth is, many of the things he says are undermined by the actual policies he supports. I'm joined right now him, Richard Trumka, head of the international uh, AFL-CIO. Let me ask you, uh, Mr. Trumka, is it true that manufacturing is moving back into the United States from across the border in Mexico? That was the picture the president gave us last night. Actually, 93,000 jobs were outsourced last year out of the country, the most that we've seen in recent years. So while we're creating some manufacturing jobs, we're seeing outsourced jobs. And his tax plan is going to encourage even more outsourcing by making it tax-free for employers to create subsidiaries overseas. So we're going to see more of it, not less of it. That's unfortunate. In addition to that, Chris, one of his big... One of his big applause lines was that he did away with more regulations than any other president. Unfortunately, a lot of those regulations that he did away with protected our health and safety. Unfortunately, a lot of those regulations that he did away with lowered our wages, took overtime away from 5 million people so it would lower our wages. And what I didn't hear last night that I really wanted to hear was what he was going to do to raise our wages to give us more health care, to give Americans more pensions, and to make this uh, a more stable economy. I didn't hear that last night. Is he making it more dangerous to work in America? There's no question. We lose 150 workers every single day in this country to occupational injuries and disease. So what does he do? He proposes a budget that slashes the safety research budget, that does away with safety and health training for workers, that doesn't require employers to record injuries anymore, a number of those things. He uh, delays standards that protect our health and safety, like silica standards or mine safety inspections. He delayed all of those and did away with all of them. And as a result, more workers are going to die on the job not go home and be able to realize their family. Let's talk about rebuilding America. I mean, we all know the situation of our subways and our bridges and everything, let alone modern state-of-the-art transportation methods like they have in every other country in the world, uh, China, Japan, Europe, it's everywhere. What, the money he spent, the $1.5 trade on the tax cut, the money he's talking is about spending on the wall along the Rio, Rio Grande River, I guess, What's left? Did you hear anything in last night's speech about rebuilding America with big-time money? We didn't hear any kind of plan that was viable or would work. Look, the Society of Civil Engineers say that we need over $3 trillion to repair uh, our old infrastructure and create new infrastructure to make us a competitive economy uh, out into the next century. He proposed... $20 $20 billion a year for 10 years. That's what his proposal actually is. Now listen to this. He proposed $25 million to build the wall uh, that you talked about on the Rio Grande River, yeah. and only $20 million to take care of billion, 
to take care of all the roads, the bridges, our waterways, our electrical grid, and all the other infrastructure in this country. And then, if you net out his budget, all the cuts he took to infrastructure in his budget, the figure for infrastructure is a net figure, and instead of going forward, we'll go backwards, Chris, and spend less money on rebuilding our infrastructure so we'll become less competitive in the world. Well, he said he was going to rebuild America. Do you think he lied? Do you think he ever meant to do that, or you immediately come into office? I mean, did he come into office to cut the taxes of the rich and build the wall, or did he come into office to be president to rebuild America? Which of the three was he in putting his focus on? We found uh, many, many instances where the campaign promises he made do not match with the, the policies he's espousing, and in fact, the policies he's espousing go in the opposite direction. You remember he said he was going to make China a currency manipulator on day one. Yeah. We sure. haven't heard anything about that recently uh, since he got into office. Last night, he didn't mention anything about what he was going to do with NAFTA or trade. That was missing from the speech. He talked a little bit about trade in the broad sense, but nothing about how he's going to fix it, how he's going to make it better, and how he's going to make trade work for working Americans. All that was missing from the speech last night, sadly. Well, it was great to have you on tonight. I knew you got a powerful message to get out there. I'm glad you came on the show to do it. Richard Trump, head of the Labor Unions of America. When we return, let me finish tonight with Trump. Watch. You watch it hardball.